This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Donald Trump, will he abandon the White House as president and live in Trump Tower? By Alyssa Norwin. It shouldn't be a question about where Donald Trump will live once he's officially president, the White House, right? Well, for a president-elect who's used to his usual comforts, this would be a big change, and he's actually considering only living in D.C. part-time, according to a new report. Donald Trump, 70, has created quite a luxurious life for himself at Trump Towers in New York City, and many are wondering if he's willing to leave it all behind and move to Washington, D.C. now that he's been elected president. It's of course, expected that Trump and his family will move to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue when he's inaugurated in January, but that might not actually be the case. The president-elect has reportedly been having conversations with his staff about how many days he'll be required to live at the White House, according to the New York Times. The paper reports that Donald told his advisors he wants to continue spending time in New York while he can that is on weekends, which means he won't live full-time in the nation's capital. Meanwhile, Donald's 10-year-old son, Barron, is currently in school in New York, so it's also unclear what he and Melania Trump will do once Donald officially takes office. There were similar questions about what Michelle Obama, whose kids were in school in Chicago when Barack Obama was elected president, would do in 2008. But, as we now know, the entire family uprooted to D.C. and has been living there since 2009. Donald's Trump Towers is probably more lavish than we can even imagine, but it may be time for him to get over his life of luxury and start focusing on his new job at hand. Hollywood lifers, do you think Trump will move to the White House permanently? Or will he still spend a lot of his time in New York? This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.